What's up everyone, this is Super Super Marcel and welcome back to Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. <laughs> Jurassic March. It's kind of fun. It's kind of like muscle memory at this point, you know. I, I've done normal Jurassic World videos so often that it's just come to the point where it's like instinct for me to just say it. But yeah, in the last episode, we just started. We literally just started Jurassic March. We, 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 we had a little bit of a hiccup, you know. Oh, maybe this is a little too blurry. Oh, we'll, we'll lift, go through it. Um, we'll... We, we had a bit of a hiccup at the start with trying to set things up. We had a weird crash where the, the, the audio started looping and then the game just shut down. But hopefully that's a one-time thing. I don't know, I just I, I also have the feeling that it might happen more than once though. We'll, we'll, we'll see how things go. I also tinkered with the settings to make it actually viewable. <laughs> so it turns out if you press the home button on your keyboard, I'm not going to press the home button right now because that's my stop recording button. But <laughs> if, I, if I press the home button, it actually pulls up the settings for this mod and I can like disable and enable certain things. Which means that I can be able to disable the, the, bright, the brightness, right? Which was fog for some reason. Fog is bright apparently. I don't know why fog is bright, but yeah, I, I changed it. I, I decided to keep some things intact, you know. Maybe I might tinker it with a bit more because I still want to kind of give it that little realistic look to it, that high definition graphics look. Like, look at this, right? The blur, right? Sure, it can be annoying at some spot, but just a shot like this, you can't lie. This looks gorgeous. It's like something from a documentary, right? So I'm gonna try and keep some of the the realistic aspects to the game, but I think I'm happy with what I've done. You know. Uh, you know, remove some, s remove it so that we're not blinding, but still keep some things to make it look pretty, you know. So for this episode, I guess we're going to have to just work with what we can, you know. Um, particularly with uh, the, the, the park, you know, because I spent admittedly a little too much money. 10 years on 74% on Pachycephalosaurus already. Far out. What's 100% for Pachycephalosaurus? I'm going to sell that anyway, just for the park. But yeah, I did go a little overkill with how I designed Welcome the back. park. You know. In fact, this guy almost covers like a quarter of the island. <laughs> I massively over underestimated how large I made this enclosure. But yeah, I'm st I still like the idea, the plan of just making this a, a big first impressions enclosure where you walk in and you're instantly struck with dinosaurs. Obviously, you know, not high f five star dinosaurs per se, but still like unique and wow enough to, to go like, wow, there's dinosaurs here. Like, like a myosaur, you know, myosaur is pretty good. I might get rid of some of the forest because it is blocking quite the view of the dinosaurs. Maybe I'll just get rid of some of the trees that are on the coastal area to give that coastal look. But yeah, I think uh, we, we have Pachycephalosaurus um, at the ready. Um, and I think it would be nice to see just how the... Because Pachycephalosaurus is an, um, an OG dinosaur. And I just have to wonder if they... If the developers have changed Pachycephalosaurus and, well, you know, all the original Ladies dinosaurs in J-Park. Um... To make it more high definition, you know. What would, but it's understandable if it still looks the same. But yeah, how much does Packy cost? Right I imagine much cheaper than, yeah, much cheaper than um, Myasaurus. Free? I think free's good. Free Packy Cephalosaurus uh, would be good to to go. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we'll, 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 we'll just work with this enclosure. This will be our big first dinosaurs enclosure. But I, I do, I, I, I think, I, I have to think about like what other type of dinosaur. I think at least three, right? Three dinosaurs, species of dinosaurs in this first enclosure would be good. Obviously, I have to think about what those dinosaurs would be. But yeah, I'm going to just from Dr. get rid of these 
make 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 some space for the the beach. Yeah. Oh man, but in other words, yeah, I, I, I don't know, I don't really have any plans. I guess we're just, we're just gonna have to live Message by, Dr. Grant. uh, and see how we go, you know? We gotta, like, <laughs> Okay! <laughs> what would you like to do here? Message from Dr. Grant. Becky's Allosaurus remains, yeah, sure. We'll sell that. And we'll use that to, to, for, for guest buildings. And I feel like we're going to need to build build a couple guest buildings. Probably probably one on each side, really. because Just because of how long the path what is. You like us to do? Oh, man, what am I going to do? Hold on. So. Welcome back. Think about it. Right. So let's say you, you enter through the... Through. And let's say this middle part? Yeah, yeah, this middle part. Oh no, actually, yeah, no, this middle part's a perfect. How symmetrical is this actually? I have to wonder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, so if we have like a, a double path, like let's say here, and splits goes off into this direction, and maybe we'll have like two towers here. Uh, at these corners? Yeah, no, I like that idea. I like that idea a lot, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to... It splits off and do other stuff. Maybe we'll have, like, a... Let's say, an enclosure, like... Here. Whatever that dinosaur may be. Yeah. But... I want to talk about... I want to move on to the topic of the dinosaurs that have been added to this, to this mod. Right? Because... It, it's unfortunate, because there were some dinosaurs... Like, just, uh, before, usually when it comes to Jurassic March, I gotta test the mods to see if it actually works right. Which also means that I get to see what type of dinosaurs they have in the mod. Uh, and I had a, I had a look for the list, and there were some dinosaurs that were in the list that were not even included. But they were in the files, but they were not in the fossil list. So I had to manually put them into the to the to the list. You know? um, but unfortunately. Some of them, some of the mod dinosaurs didn't work. Like, they just straight up just crash the game if you move into them in, like, the hatchery, right? And it's unfortunate because there were some really interesting dinosaurs that I would have loved to talk about, you know? What was it? There was... Bambi Raptor was a big one. You know, there was... Bambi Raptor was in the list. And I tried to get that working. But unfortunately, Bambi Raptor was one of those dinosaurs that just crashed the game. And it's it's unfortunate, because I did really want to talk about Bambi Raptor. I think it would have been an interesting dinosaur to talk about. But, yeah, oh well. And, otherwise, there's there was also, um, do I have a security? I do have a ranger station, okay. There was also, um... Supersaurus. That was another one that I didn't see coming. You know, Supersaurus was in the list. Massive sauropod would have been interesting to talk about. But again, yeah, there was another dinosaur that crashed the game. And uh, yeah, and Giganotosaurus Urgent was another one that cra that wasn't workable. But I I can at least pass away with Giganotosaurus because we've at this point we've we've had plenty of Jurassic marches where Giganotosaurus was a dinosaur that we could get uh you know like it it, yes. it, ju it, it, it just happened happens too too much now that we just kind of need a, a breath of fresh air to like yeah okay we get it yeah Giganotosaurus oh, oh big scary dinosaur Let's just focus on something else <laughs> yeah but I, I, I do think that the dinosaurs that I did manage to get in were, are interesting and cool enough for me to, to, to look at, you know. Yeah. Um, do I want to 
build the towers? Ooh, maybe not. I'll wait until I have more money. How am I gonna do this? One, two, three. Oh, we could just have like a little... Yeah, no, this is perfect. Like, um... You save one spot for the, um, the bloody gift store. Yeah. Attention. There is a storm approaching the island. <laughs> should we do here amber sure Extract okay it. why not oh actually no wait can i can't no uh, <laughs> what should we do here that was worth eleven thousand. i could have whatever What's your problem, Sarah? <laughs> Sarah! Sarah Harding! You know bad against me. So how did the Peckies look? I never actually looked at them. I don't think there's anything different. They just look like the normal Pachycephalosaurus that you usually see. Although the roars are definitely different. I am noticing that. From Dr. Wu. They have that um lost world roar. In fact, now that I think about it, isn't it kind of funny that when j pog got released, because what was it, 2003? Yeah, no, it was 2000. They were bagging off of Jurassic Park 3. No. Um, it's kind of funny how, like... They never actually use the Pecky Roar in the, the original game, you know? It just kind of just... They, they gave it like a... Roar, right? When there was already like a... I don't know. Would would the Pecky Cephalosaurus Roar be accounted as, a, as iconic? I don't know. Do any of the dinosaurs other than T-Rex have a, a quote-unquote iconic roar? I guess maybe Velociraptor and maybe even Dilophosaurus. But... I don't know. Parasaurolophus kind of has an icon... But at the same time... The thing with Parasaurolophus is that they kind of... The, I remember... It, it kind of just transforms to just... Any big dinosaur has that roar. Or am I thinking of the Stegosaurus roar? I'm probably thinking of the Stegosaurus roar. You know, from the Lost World. That roar! That roar right there! <laughs> that you just heard from the Myasaurus. That's... A you, that, that, that's de that was from the Stegosaurus, I remember. Right? And then it just kind of just transformed to like any big dinosaur. Just has that roar. Any big dinosaur that is not a sauropod. So like... Triceratopses ended up having having it, and the Stegosaurus ended up having it. They probably had some Parasaurolophuses had that roar, you know. Oh, but the carnivores, no, they they get unique roars that are iconic, but all the herbivores. I don't know. It's just a weird observation in my head. You know, like whenever people, whenever you think of dinosaur roars, your first fault is the T-Rex roar, right? But. Does anyone ever actually think about, like, any of the other roars? Nah, I, I don't know. Like I cannot read that, but I see Triceratops. Wait, Triceratops? Wait, really? Like to do? How did we get Triceratops DNA? Where exactly- Where are we digging exactly? Fossil Hunt. Hell Creek Formation. That might explain it. Type B, Triceratops, Edmontosaur- Oh, that's right. It doesn't actually display... ...mod dinosaurs. Hmm. <laughs> Although it is funny... ...from my perspective. Who's now straight up full on, like... ...done the research now. On the dinosaurs. Right? 
So at this point, I just kind of know what's in some of these formations. The he like Hell Creek, right? And for for Hell Creek, yeah, it matches up. Triceratops, Edmontosaurus, and Kylosaurus. But then you got like Hell Creek A, which is like a different story, right? What was it? Fossil hunt. Yeah, Hell Site A. <laughs> Taurosaurus, sure, I'll, I'll shrug that off. Yeah, Taurosaurus. Yeah, I, was Taurosaurus in Hell Creek? I think it was. Parasaurolophus, though. Imagine my surprise when I learned that Parasaurolophus was actually, like, older than T-Rex. And probably didn't really encounter T-Rex. You know? It was an older dinosaur. And Acrocanthosaurus is a, in a completely different formation entirely. It was it Sedar, I believe it was called. Where the Utah Raptors are. I think. I don't know. Yeah. Not, not a whole lot we could do, really. Should I add Triceratops? I don't know. I feel like with Triceratops... Triceratops deserves its own enclosure, right? Because that's... Triceratops is a pretty big deal, right? We always keep forgetting about that, right? And like we just shrug things off. Like, oh, cool, Triceratops. But I actually think about it. That's a Triceratops. <laughs> that's like... Like... Di like the T-Rex's, like... Arch enemy, <laughs> you know? Like when you think about dinosaur battles, you think of like T-Rex and Triceratops just going at each other, you know? It's, it's like iconic. And we just shrug it off like it's like, oh, and like seeing a, a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> How much does the team cost? Demand five thousand dollars for your transport. No thanks. We really need to discuss this. The addition of another dinosaur species would definitely increase your park's popularity. Thank you, John Hammond. How much time do we have left? Two minutes. Couldn't really do much. I don't know. I guess it's a nice talking episode. We got packies at least. I'm happy with that. I'm happy we haven't just having the, the packies. No. It's a simple dinosaur. It's a, a, a starter dinosaur that almost... Most of the time you're probably going to get. But I don't know. I was thinking about it. Have I ever actually played a mod? Where it was like a modded Pachycephalosaur of some kind? Like, have, have we ever gotten like a Stiggy Moloch? Or... I'm not going to include Homalocephalae, but like, I swear... Whenever we get Pachycephalosaurus, it's always this Pachycephalosaurus. Granted, of course, yeah, I get it. Uh, Stiggy Moloch and um, Draco Rex are controversial now and are pres is presumed to be Pachycephalosaurus itself. But what about Stegosaurus? You know, that's a Pachycephalosaur that didn't live with Pachycephalosaurus. And so I, or even Prenocephaly. No, no, actually, now I was thinking about Prenoc. We've definitely done Prenocephaly before. I think that's the only Pachycephalosaur. That we've gotten that isn't Pachycephalosaurus. But now even thinking about it even further, there's actually not a lot of Pachycephalosaurus <laughs> species, aren't there? Stegosaurus, Prinocephalae, Pachycephalosaurus. That's like free. There's probably other more obscure ones that I've never heard before. But like, you yeah, know, it's only three of them. That's wild. You should conference us immediately. Uh -huh. More Pecky Civilisaurus for me. Message from John Hammond. Hey, we reached half a star, which means I'm just going to yeah, yep. $300 for entry. That will help thing boost things up. Oh yeah. And the money's blurry, but I can barely just see 4000 So I'm just going to quickly bu buy a restroom. There we go. That will boost things up a little. Yeah, we'll wait further down, later down the line. I'm sure to get those two towers over here. I think this that the, the two towers over here would be a, a really cool idea. And then we'll have our, our our next enclosure be over here, whatever that dinosaur may be. 
Yeah, but like, I don't know. What, what are what are our options? Apparently, we're gonna get Triceratops. That's a timer. I don't know. It's a slow episode, but at least we did something. You know, I get Becky Cephalosaurus alone. It's a pretty neat dinosaur to, to get. Yeah. What is going on over there? <laughs> All right, let's uh let's end the episode. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, click the like button. If you want to see more, click the subscribe button. And I'm super super master, and make sure you have a super super time. Bye bye. <laughs>